Hey you guys, so we decided to buy a heavy duty um, hose uh, wheel, I guess. It's a Suncast commercial professional grade 200 feet hose cart. So I haven't been able to find a hose that's that long, so I have two um, 100, so we're gonna combine them and then put them on here. So hopefully um, this wheel part will be able to hold two hundred I guess I do have two different kind of hose um, I got this heavy-duty contractor hose which I'm hoping to work it'll weather the um, weather here in Georgia uh, but we're gonna put it together and then I will show you later how it works all right let's get started it's a three-year limited warranty I got the hubby here he's gonna help me put it together Box tray in. Um, oh, yeah. I just hold on to that. It's already partially assembled, it says for faster assembling. Let's see if it's true. Pretty two wheels. Definitely feels really sturdy, really heavy. Um, you can find this. We bought this at Home Depot for one ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So a little over two hundred dollars, of course, with um, taxes. But there are definitely cheaper ones. But for how long you want to keep one of these? I just went with the heavy duty, hoping that it will last. If I ever move, I can always take this with me. And then, this is where you turn. Oh, this is where the hose goes in and it slides back and forth. Do you want the instructions or you just want me to hold? <laughs> instructions for what? What's instructions? <laughs> What's the instructions? Just wing it. <laughs> We're always winging it. It definitely feels really nice quality. For the price though, you definitely want it to be good quality. So technically it comes with instructions which is great if you're putting it together but you can also wing it so it looks like everything is labeled all the way from A to J J being the wheels Maybe not so quick. Yep. I need some tools. I'll go grab your tool. Let's see real quick over here. So that goes onto that. That one goes onto the other side. This one goes right here on the front. Seems to be legit. the man without his toolkit, right? Hi, Zena. Careful. Hi. You say hi to everybody. I 
do the easier job of taking stuff off. Partially assemble. You still have to unassemble in order to reassemble. Mm, I don't know why this one is so hard to screw out. I think maybe somebody screwed it in it crooked. Is it a pre-bought one? No. Brand new. Yeah, it just happens. What side does this little thing goes to the handle side? So this way. So this thing goes to the handle side. And then put it on that chair. Yep. Washer and then this washer and then. One thing to hold it, the other to screw it. in the screw the wash and screw it on sorry 
I would say this is a little bit heavy duty if you don't have more than just a couple beds, but I got quite a few beds and they're spread apart, so this will definitely be better. Is that what goes in between the hole? The, goes the handle. What side does the handle go to? So the handle goes to the front. So that's going to be those two edge of the wheels. Oh, the wheels. So the one that has the the one that does not have the water fitting. See that one has the water fitting. Mm -hmm. So that's where the, that would go in the back. This one goes in the back. No, this one goes in the back. This one has the water oh, connection thing. So the water connection goes to the back. This one doesn't have it, so it gets to be in the front. It's the back so, over here. Yeah. We'll probably put those ones on first. Right here. That's the water hose one. Do you need me to help you with that one first? One first, and I will put the barrel. And then the other way. So we had looked at three different kind of wheels, right? And then there's the one where you can choose a stake. And then it just comes with a little assembling cart. And that one's probably the cheapest. But you, it doesn't come with a reel. It just comes to where you have to just manually put the hose on it. And I didn't want to do that with 100 plus feet of hose. That could take a while. Um, the next one you get is the little box one that is enclosed, which would save your hose from the weather. Um, but those ones, depending on where you put it, they may last, they may not, and you're spending about, how much were those, like $50, $50, $60? Yeah. And then, basically from $60, you go up to $199, there wasn't a one in between. So there was one that was like $29.99, that's the one where you mount to your house that you have to manually put the wheel, uh, like the hose on. So it goes from 29 to about 60 to 199. So if you're planning on using it, if you're an avid gardener, if you know you're gonna be reeling it in and out every summer, year round even, cause you'll get some stuff that'll go in the winter time that might need water. Oh, I think I spin this out of pocket there. It's like as big as a steering wheel. You need an in-between size? So this one, if we ever want to move, it'll come with us and then it should be durable. It's going to at least last for three years because that's a limited warranty on it, hopefully. But metal is usually pretty hardy. Eating, 
it together. This hose thing doesn't seem very big. Definitely not as quick as I had thought. But with it being heavy duty, I don't know if you want it to be a quick fix. The Todd tail sometimes. Yeah. I'll put this, this together. great when you have a handyman but if not the instructions are pretty simple and easy as long as you have the right tools Pull that little screw out at the top. This one? This. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely the most heavy duty reel I've seen in a long time. But this guy over here, he says, go big or go home. <laughs> Gardening, you definitely want to make it as easy as you can on yourself. So if you get those small dinky ones, it sometimes it's really hard to reel. It doesn't align like you want it to. You're spending more time trying to feed it into the reel and then trying to pull it out. So we want to minimize all of that. But like I said, if you, you know, if you have a really small area, if all you're doing is container gardening, you don't really need one of these. I wouldn't recommend one of these. It's only if you have a hundred plus feet of hose you have to take care of that it's nice to have this. So this is where your hose would go in. Definitely really heavy duty. I've already got some scratches on it though. But scratches are okay. in here once we assemble this so we're gonna have to take off this front part okay. just to stick this in here 
One for over here? That's right. Yeah. You can do these ones. Where's the bottom? But they're in there already. You need to did you tighten these? Nope. It's gonna take a lot of space though, because you can't collapse them. You're gonna have to find a good spot outside, right? This is where the water goes to. Then the handle needs to go on this side. And the wheel guard. Can this go on either side? It has to go to the side that has the two two nails. This is where these come in. I guess you have to remove these nails that they put in.
really screw it down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang, how long are these nails? I throw some on the ground. Woo! So, don't lose your wash. Can you do those two on that? Just put this on it then inside. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Unscrew it only to screw it back in. Seems redundant. that work just to remove the screw that I eventually will have to put back. Oh, this one's too tight. Okay, maybe this is not as quick as I had anticipated. Nothing is ever as quick in gardening as you think. First time use. I don't want to come undone. So this is your real guide. I don't know if you can see it, but it glides really nicely. I like the color. It goes with our house, believe it or not. Gray and red. I don't think I could have picked a better color scheme. So this is the reel. So you stick your hose through there and you kind of help it guide it along so it's even and not clump on one side or the other. So that glides really smoothly. I can't get that one out. It's like heavy duty. I only was able to get one. Almost reminds me of like a handicap chair. I wonder if it'll hold my weight. <laughs> Look. What's up? I'm gonna bend it. <laughs> what? What are you saying? What is he implying? I think he's implying something. You got that one on? Yeah. The handles bar looks like a a little. Oh, so they weld when they bend it in a circle. Oh. I don't remember pipes. 
don't come in a circle. <laughs> what? Pipes don't come in a circle? That's it. So apparently this is what he said is the defect, defective part, which you can kind of see. But I guess that's where he welded so it's more of a circular motion. Uh, Wheels? Yeah, there should be a little screw that was in here for the handle. Can I, can I turn this around? Sure. Ah, not too heavy. Probably once I put the 200 hose on it, I won't be able to lift it. But thankfully, these are what these are for. I'm really impressed with the color. I think they did a really good job with the color. I'm going to keep your hammer. Handles. Sturdy? Definitely. Is this the hose that connects to the wall? There you go. Oh, very nice. I like it. The axle. Is this the fit that goes from the wall to the hose? Very nice. Sure. What is that for? Is that where the wheels go? Yep. Give me the other wheel. One other wheels. One wheel, two wheels. How do you know what size? Oh. Does it matter? Not really. Like the writing on the outside. The writing on the outside? Yep. Okay. Writing on the outside. Not for highway use. Yeah. Get that first. I can't believe they actually have to say that, but sad that they have to say that. Uh -huh. Apparently, I can't go rubber off wheeling with this on the highway. Oh, can you put that in? Okay. And then your washer. No off-roading with this sucker, huh? Dude, this is so smooth. Should we put the hose on it too, or save that for another day? All right, so I got this heavy duty it's from Waterworks, 100 feet, 3 fourths inches. Woo, can you see it? Right here, sorry. Got a knife on me, so I want to be extra careful. So it's supposed to be really heavy duty. It's really thick.
Okay, so the wheels. There's a specific way I go. <laughs> so the wheel has a specific way it goes. Sure, the inside of the wheel has this metal piece. It needs to be on the inside. <laughs> Otherwise, Otherwise, it doesn't want to go. It touches the frame. Watch my plant. Got plants everywhere. You just have to watch out for it. Oh, okay. Can a wheel now? So this is the feeder. guide it so it's next to each other like that. That's why you have the guide. Don't hold the hose. <laughs> yeah, but the guide sometimes, see, it turns it all funny and I want it to be precise. And then afterwards, then I can use the guide. That's what that reminds me of. So, this covers a hundred. Putting another one hundred on there, do you think? Yeah, you got all the space right here. Okay. Yeah, so, and it's doable. Thicker than normal hose, so. so. I got the. So, if you got the skin heavy hose, duty. you could probably do like 250. But you don't, I mean, if it's a weather hose you want it to be thicker because yeah. the thinner ones what I've come to find out is when it's super hot and the sun beats down on it it has a tendency to squish together all right so that is it you guys I'm gonna give you a closer look so I'm gonna take it off of here it definitely took longer than I thought to assemble it but this is what it looks like and you definitely need room 
a good spot in the side of your house to put this in but I think it'll work I've been really I've been looking at one at garage sales and I haven't seen anything like this and the ones that they have even at garage sale they're wanting to sell it for like 20 or 30 dollars if they even want to sell it but most of them just leave it with the house so this is my brand new one and I think I'm gonna be super happy about it even though I I cringe when I had to spend the amount of money on it but if you think about it if it lasts you three to five years definitely well worth the money um, I want to show you an old one that I have that belongs to this house and it still works but so this is the old one it's really plasticky the handle still works on it everything still works you can see here at the guiding reel it's tough like in order for it to move you have to like really push it one way or the other it just doesn't if you hold the handle here it doesn't move you have to literally like force it to go and it's it's sturdy for how it was built back then but I bet you this one's at least a hundred dollars um, it is made by Suncast too um, but you can see it has weathered quite a bit like over here the hose connector right here always crinkles up and this hose is bad um, but it still works I mean I use it still but this one pretty much stays in its spot it doesn't go anywhere and um, this is the feeding line that goes to my drip irrigation and then in case of emergency I'll undo it and then I'll use it but I have a quick release hose here so it helps to hook and unhook faster but definitely you can see the quality between this one and the one that I just bought this one I could see you know after a couple years it will weather and shows um, that you know it can't handle as much as the metal frame um, so this is the handle it still works so I can't complain I'm glad we have it and it still works still does its thing so I would recommend maybe buying this size if you only have a couple flower beds um, that you're trying to water but you can see our garden all the way to the front mailbox goes all the way back here and technically I haven't even been able to go down there where that shed area is which I do have a flower bed down there and then from stretching it all the way across over here see that's the flower bed down there that I haven't even been able to bring the hose to and then I have flower bed all along here and then I have a tree um, like a fruit orchard I guess I have an apple tree pomegranate pomegranate granite there's a grapefruit over there in the corner so I definitely want to have a steady enough hose that I can reel around and the ground is really uneven it doesn't look like it now but I garden in 8a Georgia which we have the clay so when it rains it creates a lot of uneven ground and the wheels on these for sure is going to be able to withstand the way the ground is um, as opposed to the other wheels on the other one so I'm gonna try this probably ask my husband to connect it for me I'm gonna put on the other hose that we have on it um, just so I can reel it to the front and back and see how well it does and then I'll do probably another review in a couple weeks see how it does but so far I'm really happy with it I mean for the price and the sturdy and sturdiness and how it feels I'm definitely I mean let's see if I can put this down and let's see if I can reel it since I'm the one that waters my garden hang on I'm gonna put you back on the hook I'm the cleanup crew he puts it together, I clean up. So, very doable. The wheels on it is really nice quality. Definitely, I think with another 100 feet hose, I can manage it. My main concern was that it was gonna be too heavy, but 
it's on its wheel. It's like having a dolly for your hose, basically. It turns around great. I'm not going to dance with it, but definitely very maneuverable. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I'm going to be very happy with it. It's definitely going to make my work a little bit easier. Instead of having hose laying around, I think this will do its job, you guys. And let me see. So, so this is it. It's the sun cast, which that's what the old one is too. I didn't realize the old one I had was a sun cast as well, but this is the sun cast commercial, 200 feet, three fourths inches commercial grade um, hose cart. Definitely. I, they did a really good job with this color scheme. I would have liked the hose color to be a little bit better, but uh, you know, you can't really pick and choose, I guess, what kind of color. They have that green, green one you can get, but those ones I don't feel is up to par commercial grade. So that's why I went with this one. And this one, what was it again? Let me see. This is the 100 feet, 3 fourth inches waterwork contractor farm it's ideal for professional and agricultural need hey you guys never know eventually we might all have to start farming ourselves you know if there's a shortage of food like there was last year of toilet paper y'all may want a hose that works <laughs> anyways you guys I think that is it I am very happy with this definitely look at that Look at that. It slides so nice compared to my other one. How can you not be happy about that? It's the little things in life, right? But I think it's going to make my job a lot easier to water. I won't have to dread it as much as I do. Try to pick up the hose, unwind it, reel it out, reel, reel it back in. It's definitely sturdy. Alright, that is it. Thank you for watching. Bye.